Hello everyone, Cizenea here, and in today's tutorial I will teach you how to draw the Sarh Bithol in Affinity Designer. The Sarh Bithol is a mystical symbol originating from Celtic country. It represents love, friendship and loyalty. Sarh Bithol in Welsh means everlasting love. So this is my third tutorial about Celtic figure. My first two tutorials about the Celtic knot and the Triscallion were rather well received, so I decided to record some more tutorials about Celtic symbols. So to get started we go to File New and we create a new document. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And then we go to View Guides and we add some center guides to the composition. And then we take the Ellipse tool, we set the fill to None, we leave the stroke as black, and we set the stroke width to 15 pixels. And then we go ahead and we draw a circle. And we give it 500 by 500 pixels in dimensions. And then with the move tool, we center it in the middle of the composition. And then we go ahead and we draw another circle. And we give it 700 by 700 pixels in dimensions. And then with the move tool, we position it in such a way that its extremity here on the left matches the extremity of the first circle here at the bottom. And then we press Ctrl J to duplicate this circle. And then with the move tool we position it in such a way that its extremity on the left matches the top extremity of the first circle. And then we select both circles. We press Ctrl J to duplicate them. And then we press them on the other side. On the other side of the figure. So now we have all the circles that we need in order to draw the figure. So what we need to do now is only to keep the first circle and what's within it and the two intersections here. So in order to do this, we press Ctrl A to select all the elements and then we go to Layer, Expand Stroke. So this breaks the circles into stroke and intersections. We need this in order to remove the parts that we don't need. So we take the Shape Builder tool, we set the action to minus, clean up as known. And then we go ahead and remove all the parts that's here lying outside. So now we have only the parts that we need in order to draw the figure. So we set the action to plus and we are going to connect the parts that we need connected together. So we connect these elements here, these elements here, and then these elements here. So here there are some small bytes, don't forget to connect them together with the rest of the circle. So the same thing here. We connect these elements here and we don't forget the small pieces here. Until here. And then we connect the elements here. Up to here. And then we connect the elements here with here. Up to here. Alright, so now we have connected all the elements that we want connected together. So the next step is going to be to create the small gaps between the elements. So we are going to do it with the contour tool. So we take the contour tool and we are going to lower the radius. We set it to minus 2. And as you can see that creates the small gap between the elements of the figure. Alright, so that was it from my side for this tutorial. You learned how to create the soft bit hole in Affinity Designer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!